There is no question running into a fire is a risky line of work, but with the death of a third Kansas City firefighter in three years, we're reminded that sometimes it's what a firefighter can't see that's the most deadly. KCTV 5's Greg Payne looks at why cancer is a leading killer among some of our nation's bravest. That was one of his specialties. It's every mother's worst nightmare, losing her child. You know, we knew it was going to come, but when it comes so quick, you never really expect it. It hits you. Marianne Baton's son Jerry died last Friday after battling multiple myeloma for seven years, a rare blood cancer that weakens the bones. It was difficult, very difficult. It, uh, we, we had to really, well, we had to be strong. But what caused this young, vibrant man to end up fighting for his life in a hospital bed? It was work-related. They have determined that. We had it through the courts. He had that on when he made captain. Captain Jerry Baton served more than 20 years as a firefighter with the Kansas City Fire Department. Oh, he loved it. He loved it. He uh, literally cried when they had to, you know, when he had to retire because he couldn't handle a job, of course. Sadly, he is now the third Kansas City firefighter in the last three years to lose his fight with cancer. Occupational cancer has always been attributed to firefighting. It's an inherently dangerous job. Tim Dupin is the president of the International Association of Firefighters Local 42, a union which covers the majority of the Missouri metro. He says nowadays the work environment is making firefighters more likely to get cancer. The houses were made generally of wood and furniture was made of wood and natural fibers. Now it's man-made fibers such as plastics that have more toxins that are attributed to the rise in cancer. Which is forcing local fire departments to make changes, starting with a new cancer reduction policy. It includes washing fire hoods after every fire using extractors that are now in every district in the city. It extracts carcinogens from your fire gear. We put one set of fire gear in here at a time and, and wash it. And hoses that attach to the fire trucks so exhaust leaves the building. This would be one of the first things that we, we identified on this department that we could do to try to reduce, uh, reduce the cancer cause and just improve the quality of living. Just one of many things Jerry Baton's mother feels could have prevented her son's death. He fought very much. He fought a good fight and uh, we should see him again. The family says on Sunday at 3.30 p.m. they'll have a memorial service at the Fireman's Hall to honor his life. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News.